Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel racing. Today I'm going to guide you through setting up a dedicated server for the bus, whether you're looking to host a server for friends, a community, or even a public space for other players, I'll make sure you have all the steps covered. Let's dive in. Right, yeah, so there's been an update of 2.6 for the bus, uh, the beta. So, with this update, we now have access to an alpha multiplayer, which uh, I've been mega, mega excited for. I just, I, I can't wait to get into it. But before we start, let's make sure you have everything you need. So you'll need a dedicated machine, uh, or a powerful PC. Uh, this could be a local computer, or even a rendered uh, server. A stable internet connection, preferably with high upload speed. So anything, say, over 10 megabyte upload should be pretty good. A dedicated bus server software. So you can download this via the Steam tools. So if we go over here, you can see here... Um, we got the bus dedicated server here if you're all good let's move on to the next step so installing the software you need to open up your steam client you need to go to the store and you need to search for the bus dedicated server now in your library you need to make sure that you've got games and you need the tools checked here um, to, to see this so you need to run this and install it once you've installed it, you'll have access to the server files. Now, these are located in the Steam directory under Steam Apps, common, the bus dedicated server. To allow players to connect to your server, you'll need to open specific ports on your router by entering your IP address into your, your browser of choice, whether it be Edge, Chrome. And look for the port forwarding or virtual server settings. And then you want to open the following ports. So you want a UDP which is your game traffic and you want it to be set to 7777 so you want opening and closing ports so start and end ports at 777 save your changes restart your router if you need to if you're not sure about this step check your router's manual or your internet provider support page you can easily google on how to uh, port forward on your router Right, so now it's time to set up the server configuration. So we're going to go to the, the server location, which is in your Steam app library, like we said. You go to common, and then we have the bus, and then the bus dedicated server. We want to check that, open that up, and then double click into the bus, and then we want to go into the settings, and then we want to open up server settings. <laughs> I use Notepad++ plus plus for this, you can just use uh, Notepad. Okay. Right, so we got your server name here, which would be the name of your server. You got the, the time and date, so I update this, and that's the... the, the 8th. So we're going to have to change that today, because today's 10th. So I'll change that to the 10th and the 10th of the 1st 2025 start time 8 o'clock uh, standard map Berlin sunny true standard With all this apart from your vehicle fleet you change up and um, if you've got your own fleet you put in the fleet name there maximum and I'm if I, I try that again maximum amount of people that can connect to your server I've got 10 which is the uh, the default came with your server password which is what they'll need to to join and your admin password now on a side note how this works to connect do you will need your public IP address so what I recommend doing is going to a website much like um, noip.com and changing your public IP into a name. So, for example, mine is at the moment the bus 25RS. I think, let me just double check, make sure. And it's the bus rs.ddns.net. So that was just a simple way of doing it. So to start the server, we're first going to go to dedicated server and then we're going to launch 
the server once you've set everything up and then this is going to happen so as you can see everything's a success here so that's all good in the hood and we'll go then to us beta so make sure you're up to the latest um version of the beta we'll hit play and Gotta love TML studios. The guys work so hard for us. So once you're in guys, as you can see, we got a new multiplayer section down at the bottom here. We've also got our operating plans and our fleets for if you want to make your own custom fleet, this is where you would uh, go up to here and do that. But that would be for another tutorial for now. Multiplayer. So we're going in. The server is up, it's very sim, it's a 10 slot. We've got six mods and it's barreling. So you'd add your own server here and you'd put in your public IP or if you changed it from no IP, the address that you changed it to and then connect up. And once you connect up uh, or try to connect, it will ask you for a password. You just type in the password that you chose and it will load you right into the game, right into your own headquarters, which is pretty awesome. So once we get here, you, you'll um, be able to pick your job and control the server. So you can see we're in. Check, check us out. So we've got our own little canteen area, your own wee kitchen. We can pop in here, wash our hands, get a coffee ready, go over here, get some gluten-free crisps and chocolate and what have you. It's all good in the hood. Back out. This is the main part down here, guys. The computers. So you can go up to any computer. You can see the computers have got a timetable on it. And if you click, timetables will appear. And then it gives you all tour information. What line it is? Tour 8, 10. You can see there. And assigned at the moment. So you can assign up anyone in the server. Um, and it also will appear up on this board here who's all connected what they're assigned to what they're doing and all the rest of it now if you push escape you've got your multiplayer lobby and then you've got your admin if you go into lot admin quickly your admin password which you set uh, is how you control what's going on so you've got your players you can kick you can ban them you can set your time you can set your date you can change your weather Set that up, change your maps if you want to, and all the great things. If you go into multiplayer, it's the same as going up to uh, a monitor. You just find anything you want to go on. So this is line one, tour one with the double decker. If you click that, you can then start driving up, and it will take you to the bus once it loads up. And then you continue the game as normal. So you can see we loaded in here. Here's here and say the bus stop. There's my bus. With my um, own custom paint job because I use my fleet, which is set up. You go into the bus. Start everything as you know we would. And then that's you ready to, to kick off your, your journey on multiplayer. Everything works as it should. Now at any point you could potentially just escape and then go back to multiplayer and pick a different route if you wanted to. Uh, admin, again, you can go in, anyone causing trouble, mischief. <laughs> You can then get rid of a lot of the functions work the same. It's, it's really simple, really good, really fun. Unfortunately, I don't have any um, footage of me with with anyone at the moment. Um, myself and Jones, we were on testing it out. We didn't record any footage. We were just having having a good time. So feel free to share this video with anyone. And hi.
enjoy. It's all good in the hood. Make sure and check out TML Studios. And aye, a big shout out to Max, by the way, on the TML Studio Discord. Because he helped me out a lot. And he's helping a lot of people out. Because a lot of confusion about how we set up this server. It is quite simple. You've just got to think about it. I, I had to take a second and go, okay, Ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Max was good. And uh, very patient as well with helping me. So I thought I'd make this tutorial to help you. If it has, please leave a like. Please leave a comment. And uh, yeah, links will be in the description for the game, the bus, as well as the TML Discord. So make sure to check them out as well. And you all have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, guys.